play? <laughs> you thought I wouldn't? No. I just suppose it's my nature to ask. You could avoid so much if you just say no. I just can't stand being second best. Even if second is on top of the world? Especially if I'm on top of the world. I need more control over the board. That's an understatement. Why do you play if you're so certain of victory? You've never lost. For the sake of the pieces. Ah, so the needs of the men- No, certainly not. Though we'll come back to that later. I'll take that. Was that worth it? Choosing that piece for your bidding? Not really. Such things make me regret this game. Though you'd have it no other way. Again, choosing such an inconsequential piece for capture. What is it with you and sacrifice anyways? A death wish? You've never played before either, it seems. Sometimes a captured piece just sets things in motion. Even if it takes a while. Ah, the long-awaited appearance. I take it now is when I'm supposed to cower and surrender? <laughs> Your pride won't let you. All I have to do is keep playing. I'm not all-knowing, but I can see what you're doing. Perhaps. If you'd heard me talking earlier, you would know. You threaten me with your strongest piece and think I'm gonna quit? Hardly. Are you serious right now? I've moved my piece, haven't I? I'll let you change your mind. Hardly. Well then honestly, you deserve to lose for that move. You should try looking more than one, two, or even three moves ahead. <laughs> so foolish. Too stunned at your lack of control to speak? How's it feel to be at someone else's mercy? I wouldn't know. Oh. I can't help but move in the way I do. It can't be helped. Aren't you responsible for all of this? Should we play again? So we must. You will never learn. Can't I? No. If I can't win, I can stalemate. I don't see how you can achieve victory caring for each piece you bought. Not just bought. You don't play fair at all, do you? You tell me what's fair. Whatever I say it is. Is that so? So one day wrong is right, and right is wrong if you say so? Yes. See, that isn't the way this game works. There are no pieces, both white and black at once. They are absolutes. Fine. I wrote the rule book, you didn't. And how do you write it? Consistently. It reflects my thoughts in the same manner the game follows me even when you move. And what if I reflect them as well? To a degree, anyway. I can co-opt your strategy. You can only produce a cheap imitation and mockery of my mind. But I've certainly gained insights into it, haven't I? Do you think you're alone in your insights? You give up your secrets so easily. I can easily use them to tie this game. You can't bear losing too many pieces. And you can't bear real reason. Or scorn. 
I'm not through just yet. My finest hour is upon us both. There's two, I suppose. Why would you say that? Why not? We create our own meaning moving forward. It isn't given to us. We take it. So why not a blaze of glory? This is where you wind up each time. With every syllogism you utter, you end at the crumbled ruins of civilizations. Why? Because you won't even acknowledge your opponent. How can you? I've bested you and continue to do so until this game is done for good. It might as well be finished already. That's not true. How can you win if all your pieces are removed from the board? How can you claim victory if your image is wiped from the game? I can use any method at my disposal. And even if I fail outright, the pain it causes you and your cursed pieces is good enough for me. If the innermost secrets of your artistry cannot win me this game, how's for dogma? Discourse can create reality after all, and if I can persuade my other opponents to cross the line of despair, I need not push them over the edge. They'll jump. I can command the world with a story or plight that catches the imagination. I can erase your memory with the passing of time and the burning of books. I can turn your words on themselves and stab men through the heart with words that burn in their bosom. I can appeal to vanity and transform those who claim to be yours into the most condemning monuments to your failure. Why should I bother extinguishing life when I can simply make it useless with far less effort? The outcome is the same. Dogma is different from truth. There is only one real narrative in history. Dogma may have an iota, a speck, or even a grain of truth, but those who use them come from a different perspective than I. They, as you do, invent strategies for use on this board without ever seeing the whole thing. That is why, throughout each game we play, my plays succeed while yours fail. Perhaps not in the short run, but eventually, I always come out on top. In a manner of speaking, you are correct. The outcome is the same for a civilization that collapses inwardly as much as it decays under the sword. But it really isn't even the collapse of civilizations that matters in this game. It is the legacy of this game that matters, and the testimony it leaves forever of the moves of pieces and the mastery of the player and any attempt you make with the intent of winning against it is futile. Checkmate.